we are off on tour in uh, a week's time and we're spending a day at our HQ unit, set the gear up and we're going to have a day of pre-production. Make, make sure all the equipment's working right, make sure our, our Gaz, our front of house sound guy is happy with everything, try a few different mics on things, a few different mixes, get our in-ear mixes sorted, our in-ear monitor mixes and uh, make sure we basically know the set, which you would think a week before the tour we would uh, definitely have learnt the set, which we have, of course. So this is, uh, this is what goes down. Sugar. Coke. <laughs> oh, pouches. Pouch. I've got my cables coming tomorrow. So proper. That's one that will stick on the back of the guitar. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's the new bass rig. Oh, it's like Christmas. <laughs> What's this? This is your fishing oh, tackle. It's the fishing tackle box that I've had to empty out so I can get some drum stuff in. It's a bit in Bob's box, but it's kind of looking got too many, too much stuff that I don't actually. Too many actually, bits, too not many, box. <laughs> yeah. So I'm basically just stripping out. I'd probably be able to go from a box that size to a box about that size. So I do have another one at home, just a little one. Just all the spare bits. I don't even know what that leather strap is. <laughs> I don't know where that's come from. Yeah, that's the, uh, I think, that's I, the, uh, the personal box. <laughs> it's, it's, I actually do know it's a, it's a gag. Oh no, no, it's a bit. bit well, that was from a fishing tackle box, but that that has come in handy so many times for like cleaning out uh, in-ear monitors and stuff oh, yeah. and uh, oh. all sorts of stuff. Picking um, your nose, yeah. Is it, a, um, is it a false moustache from your, uh, false from your <laughs> yes, emergency? Uh, it's when I need to do a, cha a Charlie Chaplin uh, impersonation impromptu. Emergency prison escape kick. <laughs> Um, I actually do know what that's from. That was a that's a belt for my very first um, double bass pedal. It was belt driven, and hence why it was shit. Uh, and it snapped rather than a like, chain. Yeah. Rather than a chain, yeah, yeah. Then belts. You know, they're, they're all right, but you play you're gigging every night, and you know, it's, it's soon soon wears through. But uh, so yeah, get rid of that. Bits of tape and stuff. Yeah, that's not, not much exciting in it. Tipex for marking stuff. That's what you're helping Help, yeah. Homework. <laughs> yeah. The risk assessments. <laughs> <laughs> Any drummer needs loads of these. Um, for screwing into snares, screwing into toms. So these fix the the drum heads to the to the to the actual drum unit. So I've got the black ones for my uh, jalapeno custom kit. So that's got all black rims. Black lugs. Silver ones just for spares. Buy, buy plenty of them. Alan Keys for. No, I know, yeah. Alan Keys for the double bass pedals. There's two sizes there um, for tightening up the chain, and one of them's for tightening up um, the little uh, grub screws which are inside. Keeps everything nice and tight. Um, Symbol felts, you need loads of these, but I've got too many. I've just collected loads over the years, so I can throw a load of them away off, keep them in. Another box for a later date. Uh, moon gel, need plenty of that. This this is a great this is a great one. If you get bl if you get blisters, uh, compede patches. So like these tiny tiny little patches which are really strong and durable, go on your go on your hand. And if it just feels like it's replaced the replaced the skin, so that stops it hurting. That's kind of it really. I probably took the rest. So I'll just keep the rest of the screws, the Allen keys. Yeah, that's about it. Very, very light gate. Um, so if you want a stronger gate or a stronger... Stick down that box, please, mate. Whatever, just let me know. Jeez. Oh, that's filthy. I did clean them, <laughs> but I don't. I don't use anything. Yeah. I, I, I always just use a uh, kitchen roll. Yeah. Only needs like condition every couple of months. Yeah. A while back, we got these new wireless receiver 
transmitter unit so you can play guitar um, wirelessly and it just like beams your signal right the way over uh, the top of the line units but started experiencing like a like a hum like an interference hum which uh, shouldn't happen and we traced it down to the f the fact that there's creating some sort of ground loop when it's mounted in the um, in the gear rack so we've got these plastic plastic screws and nuts just so we can mount it in and uh, keep it isolated from the uh, from the rack so we'll see if that makes a difference the good thing about the wireless of being wireless on the guitar isn't just the freedom you get on the stage to leap around and not trip over your cable and get them tangled up and stuff it's so that when you before the show you get your guitar on and you literally you can just walk out on stage turn the volume up and away you go which is great if you want to make an impact because that first you know first 10 seconds of a gig is so important and it can kind of like determine whether the rest of it's going to be any good or not in in your head so since since we've been wireless stuff it's made a huge difference it's just sorting out the little niggles that you get with the uh, new equipment there's always little problems you can now see that this plastic nut is isolating the wireless receiver from the case so see if that makes a difference lots of new ties two two strokes once for Tom. <laughs> Couldn't get a bass butler for love, no money. No, no bass butler. Gary will have to do it. <laughs> Henry, Henry's our bass butler. Yes. <laughs> Open them up. Like, is that like a, another head like this? Yeah, like a half the size. Yeah, basically now, when battles are fly, battles are in battles, no matter what country you do. It's like the parcel. L'Orange, that's a two stroke. That's a two stroke. So is that. So that's what's on. And this is the compressor. Nice. So I don't break it. I'm going to watch it fall off <laughs> on camera. But yeah, temporary for now. Until we get. Proper power bank, and then we'll be good. We're good to go. Might need. Good, we're good, we're good. I think my DM2 is broken. On, off, but no light. But if I take the power supply out, I get a light. <laughs> That's weird. The two strokes definitely add in colour. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think there. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See where it goes. I'm just gonna play with that out front there. So this is kind of like uh, the routing of our live setup, all in this one tidy flight case with the sexy lights around it which is of course the, uh, the secret. Traditionally you have monitor wedges which are like speakers and they point at the artist and they and you play and then they, the, the band hear their own version of the mix depending on what they want like so no bass, loads of snare drum, no backing vocals that kind of thing but rather than having those we're going to be working on these uh, which are in-ear monitor systems. They've been around a while, nothing, nothing radically new, but they're new to us. And these basically go in your ear and you wirelessly transmitted your own mix, which goes into your headphones directly. And the theory is that it doesn't matter where you play, once they're set up right, you could walk into a stadium stage, you could walk into a small club, you can walk into an outdoor festival, whatever, and the, the 
the sound is going to be consistently the same, which you can't guarantee with monitor mix, traditional monitor speaker wedges because the room's different, the speakers are always different, and it, it just there's so many variables. Whereas with these, it's pretty bang on every single time. So once these are tuned in and set up, we don't have to fiddle with it. We just wheel on and away we go. We've, over the gigs we've done over the last few weeks, we've kind of got a good starting point, but we're going to spend a, a good amount of time making sure these are as good as they can be. So, like I say, we're just not wasting time and to keep things consistent, which is a big thing with the tours, you know, it's consistency. So it should be roughly just over half, yeah? Just over half, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. That means it's a good game. That means everything's at zero and then the clip's just a bit below. Brilliant. Cool. I'm, I'm going to start putting bass into your mix now. So if you play... Down it down a bit, down a bit. Let's do the nails bit. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get well, as soon as he's tuned. We'll get the level balance. Yeah, that's cool. Here. That's cool, mate. We'll get we'll yeah. Get so the you've level got uh, mid boost and no compression. He's got my front of house EQ with compression. Yeah. So we'll see how that sits when you're both playing at the yeah. same time. <laughs> Play. What? Do you want to play something to uh, get a balance? Yeah. What do you, what do you want to play? Oh, well, just a chord for now, just see. What is how you sit in Steve? All right. Yeah, I can. I can still hear Adam, but I'm hearing enough of myself. To Try that lost. then. <laughs> Not gr I can't hear a right lot of me. Try no. Have, have we got the same mix? Was it split somehow between us? It should be the same mix at mix. Let me listen to both packs. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, knock me down a bit. Yeah, try that. <laughs> yeah. It's gone like way, way louder now. Yeah, okay. You can never go that. I mean, I could probably go down a bit again. Um, Just take him out, mate. It's about <laughs> <another TV. laughs> yeah. So that's down two dB. All right, we'll we'll try it at that. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see at that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so is that okay in the end? Uh, yeah, for now. I mean, it all changes while the joints are going. And oh yeah. So. Okay. Yes. Fucking stinks to me. Something bells. Hey. Oh, just the. Uh, Length issues. <laughs> Length issues? That might have you. Yeah. Look at you. What, where's, where's your length issue? Oh, it's just the, the, the issues that be an issue. Normally. Right. Stretching in the snare skin. Normally I stand on them, but uh, I didn't have anybody to help. Uh, you do, balance. You, let's face it, you do need help. So, <laughs> I do need help, yeah. So yeah, stretching it as much as you can. Stop it going out of tune. And uh, helps, it, helps it with the heat and the, the cold changes for it's uh, expanding and contracting. So, yeah, definitely, definitely helps. Because, I mean, your other snare has been used. Oh, God, I've had, that for, I've had that since the start. I've had that since. And it's still a, it's still a beast, isn't it? Yeah, it's really? awesome. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Probably the oldest this is, uh, in the band, actually, because. Apart from me. Bagrage, it? Probably will be, yeah. <laughs> That black yeah, it was. Black it was Barry's, yeah, yeah. Black 
No, yeah, you're probably, you're probably right. This is a new rig. I'm just gonna fire new rig, else. indeed. Rig morale. The rig morale. Mm -hmm. New plectrums as well. The yellow ones. Is that, what, is that, what does that mean? Is that like the strings? It means. <laughs> yeah, same. It's the same. Oh, it's slightly different colour. Okay. Doesn't match. I don't know if this is the, the lens fill. It's, it's like slightly blurry in one corner. Is there anything you want to help it? Is there anything like. Do you feel it's too bright? Do you feel it's. Hey, hey, hey! No, it feels a little bit, if anything, it feels a little bit like, it sounds to me a bit like it's, it's too loud, but it's not too loud. You know how it goes when it's like... Yeah, can you sing? Well, fellas, I'm so glad you came. I want people screaming your name. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I think it sounds a bit, a bit better. One, two, two, hey, hey, hey. Ready, I'm on the phone, my ears. Maybe writing songs swaps away the tears. Okay. I'm just coming up to say there's a smudge on the lens. Oh, that was spirits. <laughs> there's a smudge on the lens. There's a smudge on the lens. Lens smudge. It happens. What I'm gonna do I was is blowing out, I'm blowing out down, sensitive down information. Well. <laughs> okay. I was blowing out your amp settings. I'm so glad you... Yeah, I can't hear myself in my ears as much now, though. Yeah, you won't, because I've turned you down a few. Try now. Well, fellas, I'm so glad you came. I want people screaming your name. Tra-la-la-la-la, this feels like home. That sounds all right. Is that better? It's not very loud, like, but... It's not loud? No. Cool, let me split the difference on what I turned you down down there. Up north, that means you're going for a shit. <laughs> Focus power, Daniel son. Right now. Well, fellas, I'm so glad you came. I yeah. want people screaming your name. Tra la 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 la, this feels like home. Bro, that's now. No Maybe longer I'm old. <laughs> cool, that's now no longer peaking. Okay. And you should be louder. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah, it is, yeah. Miles better. Yeah, cool. We'll start with that then. Okay. Now we've got all of our individual mixes somewhere in the region. We need to all play together and then uh, refine so, it. Um, I'm going to do drums for your mix now, Bowser. Um, I can either give you the front of house mix or I can give you the, the drums with no gigs and compression. So the drums you've had. Um, the front of the house picks would be. But yeah, the front of the house picks. And probably just like. Yeah, uh, I am. I am. Yeah, quite a bit of high up kick. Um, do the whole kit, Alan. It's fine for me. Is that alright for you? Yeah, it's alright. Uh, try your vocal now. Hey, 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 hey! Like One, it. two, two, two! Hey, hey! Yes, right. I've never never had you in any kind of monitoring ever, really. Yeah. So the two. Hey, 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 hey! Well, yeah. never enough. We'll right. try that again. Not like this. Could be properly tight now. Mm. Uh, try that again, or something like a little bit again, so that we can get Baz's balanced and then we'll start throwing stuff in everyone else's mixes. Um, we'll start putting 
backing vocals. Uh, is there anybody that needs any other instruments right now? Could we have a bit more Bowser in ours? Just a little bit, please, because it quickly becomes like overpowering. Yeah. So. Uh, Roy? Sounds good, that. Steve? Nope. Hey. I don't like him. Well, I guess we've got the same thing yeah. anyway, haven't we? So, yeah. whatever Steve wants, You've that's what no choice, I'll live with it. Can I get a tiny bit? Just so I know if we're doing it. Just a like we're doing the same backing vocal, let's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just a tip. Well, uh, Alex, do you want Steve? Uh, yes, just a little bit, please, yeah. Yeah, cool, not a problem. Okay, oh, Adam, try it. it. <laughs> <laughs> no! That's fine for me. Anybody else want Adam? Tiny bit, please. Everybody wants it. Yes. Okay. That's all that's available. <laughs> 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 Nails! Check, check. Yeah, one, two. <laughs> Try crack an egg. <laughs> check, why? Hey, one, two. Nails! Yeah, that's fine. Does anyone else want Bowser? Uh, just a tap. Just yeah, a tap. Just a tap. Sprucing up the old ego rises. Painting them in check isn't as easy as you think. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't work. It was like tap. Hmm. Yeah, it should be. T I mean, we get a ruler. Hold the ruler and just. Have we got a, have we got a stand? I've got a standing hand. I, I, I don't think we've got one here. I think I've got one at home though. I can get one. I'm on basic. Power slinkies. Power. Feel the power. Nothing fancy for me. Bog standard. Stephen, however, simply cobalt. must, simply must, have the cobalt. He must. He's, a, he's an absolute sucker for the snake oil. And Bowser uses, uh, well, one set of strings every time. He yeah, he's having, his, uh, he's having his annual string change. Rumour has it he has it on his annual bath as well. Yeah. Annual bath day, it's the same day. It's a big deal in the Bowser household. They didn't have any packs of the uh, of the ones Bowser wants, so we've had to go for the like the individuals. So he's running 105s to 50s, which I think is like a base regular slinky really. That's it. But we use any ball, always have, and uh, probably always will. So they just do the job. And the cheap. Packs up in uh, Avril Levine's set from about late 90s, isn't it? Cheap trick. Oh, that's it, cheap trick, not Avril Levine, sorry. Avril Levine. There's a finished job. He's done alright, hasn't he? Look a bit sexier than a plain black box. He's even stuck the, the motorhead Cameron's road crew beer logo to it and they very kindly very kindly sponsor, uh, sponsored this um, the backdrop we're using for this tour so it's the least we can do it's special logistics Four more of them. Really All right. We've upped our martial game. So we've got four more of them red cabs. So space depending, we can have four on each side of the stage, and that'll be our like kind of backdrop set. All of you just do the vocal harmony quickly, like on a counting, just the vocals. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. Do you want to try and see what it's doing? 
be your own perspective and I can push it more or less? Well, I just think more. What, as far as you can push... Definitely, definitely better. It's definitely something there. As, as far as you can push that effect. Push well, it. Keep, keep doing that and I'll fuck with the settings. Is that coming in our in-ears now? Or no, is that, no, no. But I can if you would like it to. Yeah, just to feel what it sounds like. I reckon, yeah. I reckon, yeah, put it in there and then it might give us... It might give us hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, it's fucking hot. Of the other backing vocals, it might, it might. Um, well, let's try it on other stuff then. It might, it might work, you know, yeah. on everything. In, the, in which case, it's like this can be the backing vocal sound. At the moment, know. it's a quad track. I can double track it. So if you keep talking, you'll hear the difference. Yeah, yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, so two, that's two. Double hey, hey, hey. That's quad tracking. One, two. Yeah. All right. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. We've done a couple of rehearsals now. After getting the balances in the in ears and getting our amp settings the way we like them. Everything's calibrated and everything's repeatable. You know, we've come in and done a practice or two. So the, the, the second rehearsal through the set, we basically came in, never touched a single thing, never changed anything, and played and everything was bang on again. Sometimes you, sometimes you do it and then you come back and it's somehow changed and it's not right. But so it, we've gone through the kind of, proved that what we've set up and we're happy with is uh, repeatable, so now, we're just adding bits of tape to the uh, settings on the amps and things so that we know we've got a good starting point. Things may evolve through the tour as things go on, but we know that if we set everything as we've got, we've got what we had um, over the last few days in rehearsals and we know that that's a, a good starting point. So we're just cutting bits of this bright yellow stage tape up and marking the settings out. How's today been? Grueling. <laughs> been alright. Have you had a good day? Trying to figure out the bit to actually play. <laughs> yes, great day then. <laughs> been a good day today, yeah. Yeah, good day. Even better now, look at that. Oh, bloody hell. Team made for us. Like, oh, that is a wife. A wife. wife. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you watching, Nicola? <laughs> been a good day? I've had a great day. It's been wonderful, thanks. <laughs> 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 well, I guess that's as, as prepared as we're ever going to be, really. And we'll see you there. <laughs>